Okay, choosing a comfortable seat here. I'm sitting on a blanket, so um, if you're comfortable, get yourself uh, a little padding underneath you. And when you are ready, uh, go ahead and close down your eyes. And if that doesn't feel right, then just let the gaze be soft, gazing at something in front of you. And we'll just notice how we're feeling. So scanning the body from the crown of our head all the way down the shoulders, noticing any tension in our body or maybe just picking a word to describe a feeling. And we name it to tame it. So whatever it may be, just identify how you're feeling in this moment. And then we will do a little breathing exercise here, square breathing. So it's a four part breath. You'll breathe in for a count of four. You'll pause for a count of four. You'll exhale for a count of four, and then you'll pause again at the bottom of the breath, count of four. And we'll go through uh, five rounds of that. I'll keep track. All you have to do is just breathe. So take a deep breath in to prepare and exhale, sigh it out. And let's begin. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, sigh it all out. Go ahead and blink your eyes open. And notice how you're feeling. Notice if that's changed at all, and if not, that's okay. All right, let's bring the arms up on an inhale, gaze up. Exhale, right hand comes down, left arm reaches over. So this side body stretch, your left hip is pressing down, your left arm is reaching up, circle the wrist, wiggle the fingers, maybe take a bend in the elbow, the fingertips at the back of the neck. And looking up if that feels all right, otherwise you can take your gaze down. Maybe you take it up and down. And then to release, let's reach the arms back up, take an inhale. And exhale to the other side. Left hand comes down, right arm reaches overhead. Stretching and reaching. The right hip is grounding down. Circle the right wrist, wiggle the fingers. Bend the elbow, fingers to the back of the neck. Gaze up, lifting the heart and the chest. And then maybe take the gaze down. Maybe take it back up, inhaling, leading with the chest. I'm sorry, the chin. And then exhale. Inhale, reach the arms up, and then exhale, float them down. Preparing for a little twist here, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, right hand to the left thigh, the left arm reaches to the ground behind you. So I'll just take a little turn so you can see the left fingers, I'm really light on the fingers. Inhaling a lift, taller in the spine, and exhale, gazing off the left shoulder. To release, inhale, reach the arms up. And then exhale over to the other side, left hand to the right thigh, the right hand to the earth. Inhaling, lifting tall. And then exhaling, twisting, gazing off the right shoulder. Inhale to release, come on back to the center. And then exhale, float the arms down. Good, we're gonna take it over to a tabletop position. So if you're using your blanket, then place it so that it's folded up enough, your knees are comfortable, their hips width distance, the hands are about shoulders width distance, and the fingers are spread nice and wide. Now if your wrists are feeling sore, go ahead and walk them out a little bit so you don't have this 90 degree angle, this um, deep flex in the wrists. So listen to your body, always listening to your body. So if you don't know what that means, 
Um, imagine when something doesn't feel right, it's just going to speak to you and say, ouch, that doesn't feel good. That's your body talking to you. All right, so some cat cows here. You'll take a little bit of an inhale. So I'm inhaling and I'm lifting my hips. I'm lowering the belly. I'm gazing up towards the sky, stretching your throat. And then on your exhale, press into your mat, round your spine. Tops of the feet are pressing into the mat. My chin is tucking towards my chest. I like to nod the head yes and shake it out no. Keep pressing the mat away from you. Keep the feet pressing down. And then following your breath on your inhale, belly lowers, gazing up as the tailbone lifts higher to the sky. Roll the shoulders back. And then exhale round, press into the mat, tucking chin towards the chest. Really rounding the spine, sucking the navel in towards your ribs. And then inhale one more. Exhale round. And then right from here, I'd like you to curl your toes and start to press into the mat, hovering your knees away from the mat. It's just a hover. Keep pressing the floor away from you, press your mat away. Good. So our quads are firing up. Let's start to straighten the legs and walk your feet back or walk your hands forward, finding an upside down letter V or down dog. All right, our down dog. I like to pedal out the feet, bending the knees left and right while also lifting the heels. So the right knee bends, the right heel lifts, the left leg works straight. Maybe take the gaze under the left armpit. Feel free to move however it feels nice in your body or follow along with me for this part here. So the right heel comes down, the right leg straightens, the left knee bends, the left heel is lifted and gazing underneath the right armpit. Breathe in and breathe out. Okay, let's come up onto the tippy toes and then lower the knees, meet me back in your tabletop. Shake out the hips left and right. Okay, right palm is gonna stay down. We're gonna get into our shoulders, threading the needle. So inhale, take your left hand to the left shoulder. So I'm initiating this twist. Left arm, keep it going, reaching to the sky. Circle the wrist, wiggle the fingers. And then thread this arm through, like threading a needle through the hole you create on the right side. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, thread it through. One more, inhale. Exhale, follow it through all the way down so that your left shoulder comes all the way down to the mat. Left ear towards the mat. Left eyebrow towards the mat. My right hand is pressing into the mat by my face. Your knees, you're even, you're leaning not all the way to the left, but you're pressing evenly through both of your knees. Your belly is coming closer to your thighs. Your right hand, if you'd like, you can stay where it is or maybe crawl the fingertips towards the top of the mat so your right arm is framing your right ear. Opening up the shoulders, not dumping any weight into the neck. Just feeling a nice opening in the back of the spine. And now to release, we'll press our right hand back by the face, press into the mat as you inhale, unwinding, reaching left arm to the sky. Exhale, take it down. Check out your hips left and right. And then other side. So the left hand will stay flat. Inhale, right hand comes to the shoulder. So you're taking this gentle twist. And then if that feels right, continue reaching the right arm to the sky. Circle the wrist, wiggle out the fingers, switching the direction, and then threading the needle when you're ready, inhale. And on the exhale, thread the right arm through that hole on the left side, and then inhale, reach it back up. Again, exhale, thread it through. One more time, inhale, reach up, right arm lifts. Exhale, all the way through and down. Right shoulder comes down, right ear, right eyebrow. Adjusting the knees, making sure that we're pressing evenly. Left hand stays here by the face or curl the fingers to the top of your mat. Shoulder framing the left ear. Breathe into your nose. 
And sigh it out through the mouth. To release out of here, let's take our left hand back by our face, press the hand to the mat. On an inhale, reaching the right arm back to the sky, gaze up, and exhale, take it down. Child's pose, I'll meet you back there. So again, if you're using a blanket or anything, adjust it however you need. Knees are gonna go wide, the big toes will come together. Rest your forehead on your mat and reach your arms back towards your feet. Let your shoulders be heavy here. You can gently rock your head, maybe side to side, massage your forehead. Let gravity do the work here gently. Notice your breath, the sound. Let it be audible and connect to it. When your mind wanders, you can always bring your attention back to your breath. And be kind to your wandering mind. Treat it like a cute little puppy. Help bring it back home. All right, we're going to open up the shoulders. So our hands are back here. We're going to interlace them by at our tailbone. So we'll go ahead and interlace your fingers and start to reach the knuckles towards the sky. Good. Palms can stay together. Palms can separate gently. And if it feels good, you can gently rock right, rock left. I'm going slow, moving with breath. And then release, bring the knuckles back towards the tailbone. Let's crawl the hands back to the top of the mat and find that tabletop. So our tabletop on all fours. We're gonna keep the right knee right where it is and then step your left foot right between the palms. So the foot is right between the palms and you can take your hands, if this is a lot, use your yoga blocks on either side to press into. Otherwise, let's take our hands to the left knee, gently press the knee away. As you press the knee away, you're feeling an opening in the front of the right hip flexor. Stay here if this is enough, or inhale, reach the arms up, cactus arms, squeeze the elbows back, fingers, circle the wrists, wiggle them, or feel free to interlace the hands at the tailbone, draw the knuckles down, squeeze shoulders, lift the heart, and then release by taking the hands back to frame the foot, and then sink your hips back, straightening the left leg, toes come up towards the nose. Good. You can stay here. Again, if it's too much on this knee, use your yoga blocks if you have them or whatever props you're using. They're adjustable. Pressing into the blocks to take weight off of the right knee. And then slowly maybe moving forward into the stretch, folding over left thigh, left leg. All right, let's release. Let's bend back into the knee. This time, take your right hand um, inside the right foot. Right hand inside left foot, left hand to the shoulder, reach the left arm to the sky. Send the left arm to the back of the mat, follow it with your gaze. Stay here with the right knee down or curl right toe, straighten the right leg. If you'd like, you can stay here, you can circle the arm, lubricating the joints. And then to release, we're gonna take both of the hands flat on the mat, Step your left leg back. You can hang out here in a high plank or just meet me back in a tabletop. Other side. So the left knee is gonna stay down. The right knee is gonna come forward. Her right foot is gonna come forward. If this is too much, just like before, you use your yoga blocks on either side, pressing into the palms distributing the weight so that it's on the palms, lifting the left knee maybe gently, and then taking the hands to the right thigh if this is part of, feels good on this side. As you press the right knee away, you start to open the front left hip flexor. Inhale, reach the arms up, maybe take cactus arms or feel free to interlace them at the tailbone, drawing the knuckles down, lifting your heart and your chest. And then to release, the hands come back down to frame the foot. 
Your left hand is gonna stay flat on the mat inside the right foot, right hand to the right shoulder. So twisting and then reaching the right arm up. Send the right arm towards the back of the mat, circle the wrist. Stay here with the left knee down or curl left toes, straighten the left leg. Gaze off to the fingers, keep breathing. Again, do what feels nice in the fingers. Bring it back, right hand comes back down, send the right leg back to meet the left, high plank or tabletop. Circle the hips in one direction, and then take it in the other direction. We're gonna lie down onto our backs, so you can place your um, blanket aside or you can take it to the back of the mat and you can lean back onto it like a little pillow which I'm gonna do <clears throat> and then if you are using the blanket like that or whatever prop you have make sure it's just supporting your neck your shoulders are flat on the mat and then our knees are gonna stay bent here the soles of the feet we're pressing down our hands are right behind the heels and when you're ready, bridge pose. We're gonna roll the left shoulder under, the right shoulder under, and then press into the soles of the feet, press into the palms, start to lift your hips towards the sky, tucking your chin towards the chest will protect our neck. So we're using the back of our skull, the shoulders, the palms, the feet, and the quads are squeezing, the hips are lifting. Our glutes are not squeezing rock hard, but we're doing a lot of lifting from the quads, the front of the thighs. Your hands can stay flat here, maybe you like to interlace the palms. And then to release, when you're ready to lower down, release your grip, lower your hips. And take your feet nice and wide off the mat and allow the knees to drop in towards one another. And then rock them left and right, left and right. <clears throat> Toe heel your feet back together. Hug your knees into your chest and then circle the knees. Left foot comes down, right sole of the foot comes to the left thigh. So you have this figure four pose. You can gently rock left and right to massage this hip. I'm gonna take it into three more options though. Option two, hug your knee in towards the chest. If that feels good, then maybe you interlace your hand here. It's option, I guess, one. <laughs> maybe you interlace your hands here. Right? Option two at the shin. Or if it feels right in your body, not that it's more advanced, just it feels different. Maybe straightening the leg, interlacing the hands behind the shin feels better. So any of those, or your foot is down on the back, on the mat, excuse me. But whichever you choose, circle your ankles, wiggle your toes, always invite all of the body into the stretch. And I like rocking from side to side also. And then take this left down, straighten the right leg to the sky and interlace your hands at the left hamstring. Stay here or climb your leg like a rope, maybe work towards the calf, the ankle. Good, and then bend, bend your knee, right knee comes in, the left leg goes out, the foot comes flat on the mat. Left hand is gonna help the right leg across the body, spinal twist. So the knee comes down, the right arm is gonna reach out towards your right. I'm very short on space, limited space, so I have a bend in my right elbow like cactus arms that we've been breathing and practicing. So let's take a square breath here. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, release the stretch. Come on back to the center. And float your right leg down. Notice how it feels. Might feel a little longer than the other leg. So let's catch that on the other side. Right knee bend, sole of the foot to the mat, left ankle to the right thigh. Stay here, rock back and forth, or hug right knee into chest. Grip at the hamstring, back of the thigh. 
or grip at the shin, interlace fingers. Maybe it feels better straightening the leg. Maybe you flow through all three of those. Whichever one you take, make sure that you're hugging the right knee towards you as you're working the left hip away. Trying to keep the hips grounding onto the mat, not lifting away. Circle ankles, wiggle toes. Relax your face. And then take your right foot back down to the mat, straighten the left leg towards the sky. Hamstring stretch here. Walking the hands up the leg, climbing your left leg. Bringing the thigh closer to the belly, but not straining. You can keep a bend in the knee if that serves your body. Never forcing anything. Nothing good ever comes from forcing. And then to release, we're going to bend the left knee. We're going to straighten the right leg, sole of the foot comes down. Right hand to the left thigh, inhale. And then exhale, take it across the body. As you allow the knee to come down, you'll straighten your left arm or put a bend in the elbow. Right leg, stay straight. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Deep breath in. Exhale, release, bring the leg back over, hug the knees into your chest and the forehead to the knees. Give yourself a great big hug and a squeeze. And then to release, shoulders come back down, happy baby. The knees are bent, the soles of the, or the knees are bent and the feet are gonna go wide. Soles of the feet towards the sky, rocking side to side, drawing your knees towards your armpits, towards the earth. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you like to bring the soles of the feet together. Draw the toes towards the belly. And then let's release by rocking and rolling back up to our seat. And then keeping your eyes closed Take a big inhale and draw your hands to your heart center, thumbs to your heart, bowing your chin towards your chest. And then find an inhale. And on your exhale, tip forward, letting go, releasing anything that does not serve you here anymore. And then on your inhale, bring up with you, taking anything that you need as you go forward into your day. And just know that when things change inside of you things start to change around you so take this calm and peaceful feeling with you and share it with all those around you thank you for allowing me to guide you namaste